Good evening. Welcome to the wedding. Is it hot over there or is it just me? We've got with this air conditioning we got in here. When we first came here, they we were complaining about they had you know these things on the wall thermostats and all that stuff. So we complained, and finally they went down and did a, a whole survey on what the astronauts had. And so, did you know that that's where this idea came from? And now we got the latest thing. It's duct tape, and you just claw on it. Boy, I'm telling you, this is definite. Wow, that's, wow. Yeah, I'm, a little air will be all right. There you go. Oh, isn't that something? <laughs> they did that just for us. Ah, isn't that wonderful? Have you got a knife down there, Charlie? Charlie? Yeah, I need a... It's better to do this, uh, yeah. See, the way they have it here, it's just a claw and a thing of mess. <laughs> There we go. Let me keep that, will you? Now all I need is a, a napkin. You got a napkin for me, Charlie? There, there, there. Thank you. Thank you. I'm only going to use this for a second, then you can have it back. There you are, sir. <laughs> I'll autograph it for you. I'll, I'll give it to you later. Had a sign up upstairs that said the man and his music, and some guy changed it to mucus. <laughs> well, Lou, yes. I'd like to introduce you to the people here. Now, this is Lou Paula playing rhythm guitar and singing. <laughs> Paul Nowitzki's on the bass. Let's keep up the round of applause for Les Paul, ladies and gentlemen. Les Paul. She's like I got to turn my hearing aid up for this. You know, I wondered what was the matter with me, and it's the label and the shirt in the back. Yeah, 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 it's bothering me. You want to pull it out? Take your shirt off. Listen, boy. If I, if I took my shirt off, you have to start from the hair down. You have to start right from the top down, right? And all I need is whatever that Clairol stuff is for the hair. And then I get my glasses and I put them on. And I put my teeth in. Yeah, then I got a pacemaker. And I, I make sure that's wound up in a new battery before I come down here. Uh, Lou, what do you do when you come to work? You just... You, and I got the hearing aids. I oh, have right, yeah. a pair of those on the dresser. Jesus Christ, if I ever run out of that house, I wouldn't have anything. <laughs> I'd be just standing out there. That <laughs> wouldn't make no sense at all. <laughs> but I, Lou, now Lou has been through a little illness and, and he's doing okay now. But I, I must tell you that this is probably the sickest trio in New York. <laughs> It's nothing to be happy about, is it? Huh? Because you lost all your hair and you went through all that. Well, you're, not, you're doing good now. Yeah. Came back. Yeah, yeah. You left me uh, during Boy. your illness, right? Yeah. For a girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Started going with girls. And Paul Lewinsky here, he's been in surgery. And uh, how are you doing, Paul? I'm doing good. Are you? A lot better. Yeah. Yeah, you, well, you're getting the look all right now. I, I, can I uh, uh, let that other bass player go? <laughs> I don't know. I might want to keep him around. Jesus, he looks so bad that I had a, a, a bass player here booked for the next six months, but you're getting well. Yeah, <laughs> just, just keep him back there just in case. Yeah, yeah. and I, I was sick, so the, between the three of us, we're supposed to have six balls. We only have four. <laughs> This is a sick trio. Oh, Jesus. Really oh. sick. <laughs> and you, these two in the front row were over in Europe, and you finally 
got to all the different cities in the country over there, and you come back and I guess you kiss the ground when you got to Newark, right? <laughs> yeah, you're glad to get home, right? But it was fabulous over there in Europe. Now we have, when I was going, uh, coming down here to go on stage, some people stopped me and said they flew all the way over from Holland or some place like that, and, and they said they just came over to see me. That's the reason they came. No, that's not true. Yeah, and, and, and they probably are really, they're from Holland, but I'll bet you they're country, lovers of country music. You know, uh, I just suspect that. Have you ever played Holland? No, I haven't. Well, they beat their shoes. You can hear them. Oh yeah, they. You can hear those clock Wooden hoppers. Shoes. Yeah, Wooden shoes. <laughs> yeah. Wooden. Yeah. Oh boy, when they keep no. time. Yeah. Well, they're here tonight, and and uh, by the way, uh, over in Holland, you probably haven't got my newest record over there. It's something that it's a collection of the things that I made in 1935. And uh, oh, did you know that, uh, you guys? I thought uh, I got a, a letter today from the White House, and they're asking me uh, to join the Clintons uh, for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to go down there and with some other people that have contributed so much for this century, the inventors and us inventors are going to get together. Charlie, did you know that you were the one? Oh, wait, wait, I just want to tell you this. See, I invented the multi-track tape machine, and I invented the echo, and then I invented uh, a thing called the electric guitar, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what Clinton's going to say if he says anything to me at all about uh, making this electric guitar popular. Do you think that uh, they're going to blame me <laughs> for all the noise pollution that's taking place? With uh, well, uh, Charlie's over here. If you would stand up for a second, Charlie, you don't want to do that. Well, Charlie's the one that got me in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. And then you're the one that uh, submitted me to the Kennedy, well, what is that called down there? Yeah. And do you know that Sinatra sent that letter to, before he passed away, he sent a letter uh, saying some very nice things about me. And I got it. Oh, yeah. Do you know who Sinatra is? He's that guy. That, you know what he wanted to do most of all? He wanted to make it to, to, to 2000. That's what uh, Sinatra wanted to do. I never thought I'd be here. Do you, re oh, do. you realize? We wouldn't let you go. Hey, do you, do, you know, do you know? Well, I was born in 1915. And I was gone in 1930. 1929. Do you know what I did in 1939 for, uh, for New Year's? I played for President Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Yeah. In 1939. What did I play? I played the guitar. The electric guitar. <laughs> and, and you want to know something? There was a fellow in the audience there that came over to me and he said, Les, he says, would you mind talking to me? He says, I have no one to talk to down here that, that knows anything about electricity. They're all looking at those call girls over there. <laughs> and, and, and you know what his name was? Major Armstrong. And Major Armstrong and I got together that evening. We didn't look at girls at all. We sat and talked about FM. And he was the inventor of FM. Uh, are you doing a thing on? You did it already. And Major is in there, huh? Yeah. 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 You know he took his life. Yeah. But they, these people, maybe don't know too much about FM. And then there's another thing that I was into, and that was the first transistor, which was a semiconductor. And I was over at Bell Labs working on the electric guitar. See, if it wasn't for Bell Labs, we probably wouldn't have this electric guitar. What I did with my mom is that I did a hysterectomy on her telephone. 
I went in and I pulled all that stuff out of there and I applied it to the guitar. And that, that's how I did that thing, yeah. So I went down to thank the people. And then another thing that happened down there in the same, same year, 1946, uh, I was lucky enough to work with the, with the fellow Colonel Ranger that brought the first tape machine from Hitler. Hitler had it over there. You know those, did you go see any tape machines when you were in Europe? No, I did something better than that. Well, get up on the microphone so we can hear you, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very often we get to talk to you. I, I want to tell you about, I want to tell you about this. Guess who, well, you won't guess, but someone called me, a friend of yours, the day I, we left, Astrid and I left uh, for Europe. Look at them, don't look at me. Well, I'll, no, I'll hear I'm you. Pete Hammer. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Ampex, Ampex, oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I invited him over here, so one of these nights he's going to be here. Oh, this great. guy has a museum in California. He knows everything there is about the history of audio. Yeah, and right? the tape machine right? and the videotape yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, huh? he, I, he said to me, he when you him. see Les, he says, ask Les to tell the audience the story of the young apprentice at uh, Gibson who uh, was so happy, he went home and he told his mother, he said, we're making guitars for export to France. Remember that one? No. The <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> his mother said, what's the name of it? He says, the Le Paul. Uh. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Anyway. Charlie. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we, got it. We, we found something uh, for you um, when we were in uh, Czech Republic. Let me get it. What the hell did you find? Huh? Is it something that uh, we don't have? Lou got well, rid of his. Well, a couple of things have been happening. A couple of things have been happening to you with the uh, the last couple of years, right? We had a uh, we had cores, right? Cores, oh yeah, yeah. And you had your well, CD? that's cores commercial. I made the commercial for well, cores beer. Uh, well, you know they haven't called me. You well, we got over to Czech Republic. What the hell is that? Well, they want they wanted you to do the Budweiser. Oh, I'll That's do the that. real stuff. I, I'm not that, that uh, connected with the Coors people. In fact, since I made that first commercial with Coors, they haven't called me. And so I quit drinking their damn beer. <laughs> and do you know it's hurting them out there? <laughs> now, I'm going to stick with the Coors people. Now, the Budweiser, they're going to have to wait. because but This is the Budweiser from Czech Republic. This isn't the one from here. It's not Anheuser-Busch. Yeah. It's Bud Bar. Bud oh, they yeah. spell it differently, and too. And you also have... Uh, you my see picture's on there, yeah. Picture's on there. What more, you know? Wow, that's great. Anyway, enjoy drinking good health. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charlie. Here, would you hold that down there? Oh, I, I forgot what the hell we came... Oh, we were going to play for you guys. That's, I forgot all about it. Gee.